Hi class, so we are going to be removing brackets today and we're also going to do some simplifying too. So I think these examples should help you along the way. Um, I'm going to swap between two different, two different colours here just so that you can see what I'm doing. So in this first example here you have a number outside your bracket and then you have two terms inside your bracket. And the main things that we're gonna have that we're gonna have to remember here are bimdas. So that is remembering the order of operations and how we multiply. The only thing that's gonna help us through is to remember this uh, sign, number, letter. And as we go through this, I will be referencing back to the two of these. So the first thing is, generally speaking, when we see brackets, we see, can we simplify that at all? And we know that we can't here because we have a term with x and then we just have a constant term on its own. So what I'm going to do to simplify and remove this bracket is, I'm going to multiply whatever is outside the bracket by whatever is inside the bracket one at a time. So that is minus 3 multiplied by 4x. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer back to this. Sign, number, letter. So the first thing we have to check is, well, we have a minus times a plus. So that's going to make it a minus. And then we're going to do the numbers. So 3 times 4 is 12. And the only letter here that we have to worry about is the letter x. So we can just write that down. Now I'm going to move on. I'm going to do minus 3 by minus 2. So again, we're doing signs first. A minus by a minus is a plus. 3 by 2 is 6. And we have no letter to worry about. So this is your answer. We can't simplify any further. We just have a term with x and a constant. So don't worry about trying to simplify that any further. Okay, that's it done. The next one now is a little bit longer. But as you can see, if you were to compare this to this, it would be quite similar. And um, the only thing is that we have this additional bit, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this one first, okay? And I'm gonna follow the exact same as I did up above. So it, it works in slightly easier because all of these terms are positive. So we don't really have to worry about the sign, but it's just to acknowledge that we've recognized that. So we have a positive by a positive. And it's 3 multiplied by 1x, so that just gives me 3, and then the letter x. And then we have 3 by 1, which is 3. Now what I'm going to do is, this is essentially a second sum. But we are going to follow the same multiplying idea. So we have a minus by a plus, which is a minus. 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6. And then we have our letter on its own here, which is x. And then we're going to do minus 2 by minus 5. So a minus by a minus is a positive. And 2 by 5 is 10. And this is where the simplifying comes into it. Because I, I have to acknowledge here, well, I have a 3x and a minus 6x. So I can add the two of them and I get minus 3x. So the difference being, and if you're wondering why isn't she changing the signs here, because up here I'm multiplying, so I'm following the multiplication rules, but down here I'm adding. So I have a positive 3, take away 6, gives me a negative 3, and then I have 3 plus 10, which is 13. All right, now I'm going to just do one more example. I haven't got it written on the page here, but... This is your final answer, sorry. Um, I'm going to just do another one where you have maybe two letters coming up against one another. So just what would you do in that instance? So if you consider this sum. So we have minus 2x multiplied by 3x plus 5. Again, just because it's an additional letter, it doesn't actually make a difference to the process here. So I'm checking here my sign, a minus by a positive is a minus, 2 by 3 is 6, and then x multiplied by x gives me x squared. So that's where the letter 
from this bit up here becomes a bit more important when you have more than one letter. And then for the second part here, uh, you're going to have a minus by uh, positive, which is minus. 2 by 5 is 10. And then we have the letter as well here. We can't simplify here. We have an x squared term and an x term. So this is our answer. And we're going to be following this idea and you are going to be following that throughout your homework assignment. So if you guys have any questions, please drop me an email.